I've recently spent over 1 billion gold dying to complete RuneScape's hardest challenge to get my hands on Blood Torva, and I need to make that back. So to fund those 400 plus thefts, I conveniently have another 2 billion gold which I've been using to passively make over 500 million gold a month, and in this video I'll be showing you my secret. That's enough money to buy 25 Dins Bulwarks, 10 Justicia armor sets, 100 Guardian Boots, or 216,000 Phoenix Necklaces a month, because that is what you're going to need if you follow any of my guides. Now many of you will know, many of you will have forgotten, or many of you simply won't know. There is an NPC inside Old School RuneScape which in a single game tick prints money, and that is of course Wesley in Narda. For the small fee of 50 GP, Wesley will crush any item you bring to him in a single game tick. Bring him one empty bird's nest and he'll instantly convert it into a crush bird's nest. Bring him an inventory of bird's nest and he'll instantly convert all of them. And this even works for noted items. 1000 bird's nests, instantly converted. 10,000, done. But why stop there? What about 200,000 bird's nests? That's almost the same price as a Tumac and Shadow or a Twisted Bow. And in a single game tick, I've just made over 15 million gold. Less taxes, of course. But with the 11k buy limit every 4 hours, this means you can only buy a maximum of 66,000 bird's nests a day, taking a little over 3 days to get this many, if you're buying at the active trade price. So, how can I speed this up? Well of course, that is why I use alts. But that's not to say you need to either. With the right profit margins on a single account, you can easily be making 100 to 150 GP per nest, which can net you in the region of 6 to 10 million gold per day. But in any case, to do this right and achieve those profit margins, you want to be slowly buying those nests at the right price. What I'll first show you is what you should not be doing in these next few clips. I'm buying nests for around 6,295 GP on average and selling the crush nests for 6,419 GP per nest. So minus the GE tax at 1% and the Wesley fee of 50 GP, that's only a 10 GP profit per nest, which is terrible. When I control a daily market share of around 25%, that's only around 2 million gold profit per day, which is not great. That doesn't even cover bonding up each account. So in these next clips, you can see that the active trade price is actually around 6,421. And I'm putting offers in a fair bit lower than this at around 6,406, give or take a few GP across each account. This is above the med price, but below the actively traded price, which is in reach to grab all of the nests which are sold at the med price and below, whenever the higher buy orders from those other players are on cooldown. That is my opportunity to snag the nests at a good price. This way, although I might not be buying as many nests per day as my limits allow, I'm significantly increasing those profit margins. Now, when I'm putting all of these sell orders in, I can see that the real-time prices on the wiki are spiking as high as 6,700, so I'm going to put these in at roughly halfway between the actively traded price and the spike price at around 6,640 mark to make sure I can sell as many of these as possible to maximize the money made. Now, not all of them will sell, but that is perfectly fine. I can set up my buy orders again across each account, collect these the next days and update the sell orders again. And the reason this works so well is that you're taking advantage of the elasticity or variance in the prices of not one, but two items. So although this isn't exactly correct saying this, you can kind of think of it like you're doubling the potential profit you can make. On the lower price item, you're buying on the lower bound, and on the higher price item, an upper bound, if that makes sense. And this can be done over and over and over again, and it's what I've used to pay for bonds across each account and profit around, on average, 500 million gold a month over the last few months. Or maybe not so much now. Give this a try in a few weeks once the market has cooled down and you too could pay for your membership passively like this too. If you're not already subscribed, you know what to do. And for those who are, I will see you in the next one. Peace.